hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing me hi my name is cindy apollo today's video is highly requested i'm gonna be doing a video showing you how to use your laptop as a viewfinder and if that sounds like a video you want to see definitely stick around stay subscribed to my channel and let's jump right into the video your phone especially filming with your back camera we all know the difficulty filming with back camera and not you not being able to see yourself i know i talked about that in one of my videos i'm going to link up in the cards where i talked about filming your first video using your iphone I'm also going to link the other video where i talked about filming your youtube video using your front camera and if you've not seen th these videos Definitely go check these videos, they'll help you, especially if you're a starter and you're looking for how to film your video or to start and to film creeps looking video. I'm going to link these videos in the cards, so go check them out. In this video, I'm going to be basically talking about using your back camera or filming with your back camera and using your laptop as a viewfinder and in this video we're gonna be using a macbook and i'm sure if you use an android phone i'm sure there is an app you can download to use on your macbook if you use macbook and you use an android and if you use an iphone and you're using you're using the windows pc you can basically download itunes on your laptop and run all of the setups i'm gonna use my other phone to record to show you in details how to do that so right now we have this and for this i'm gonna go to my phone so this is what we we'll have here i'm gonna go to my finder and look for click on applications and look for quick time player double click on that so while it's opened i'm gonna click on file so now that it's opened i'm gonna click on file click on new movie recording so you can see so this one is for audio that's audio recording then this is screen recording you have the option to record your screen if you want to so you have the option to record your screen if you want to and also this is to record what you're doing or what i'm doing i'm sure i'm showing yeah yeah i'm sure i'm showing here I'm not out of frame i'm sure i'm not out of frame anyways so this is it so i'm gonna click on new movie recording and as you can see this is what we look like yeah so we're basically recording it is recording now and i can see myself and i can see myself i can see what i'm doing so basically with this you don't have to do too much so i'm going to click on this other feature um this is for facetime this is connected to my phone this is for facetime so you can basically just click and play with all of this right about now we're recording and we're recording this see on my finder here on my on the screen on this mini screen on my laptop you can see the section that is showing that is recording and also the facetime hd part and the other part so you can see that we're recording and it's real clear that we're recording here and it's just it's quite simple it's quite easy to do so for, for you to stop recording or disconnect um this is the volume this is how much the volume is you can play the volume you can play the volume to see so the quality is high so in order for you to disconnect this you can click click on this click on file to disconnect this click on file and click to close or you can click copy to close so that is pretty quick and easy and then go to 
quick player and quit quick player so that is it that's about it for the iphone users and mouse and mac which is quite easy to do very easy it's not complicated uh, for iphone users and mac it's quite easy you can use you can use quick finder if you use a windows laptop there's a software you need to install to use your phone as a monitor or your laptop as a viewfinder so the name of it the name of the app if you use an android phone to connect to your viewfinder using your macbook then you need to download remote viewfinder this name of the app or the software and if you use a windows pc and you use an iphone and you want to download the viewfinder on your device or on your windows laptop then you download the same app the remote viewfinder i think it works on both systems or on both laptop so just download and go through the instructions to know how to install that i'm not really familiar with this so i'm not sure if this is the actual name that i'm listing here right now but i'm also going to make some findings and leave that on the screen or leave that in the description for you to get help with that but what i what i perfectly know or what i do know is that iphone to macbook is quite easy you can do that using your quick time player which is really easy it's convenient it is easy to, to use your mobile phone to connect to your laptop or to your macbook to as a viewfinder which is quite easy and if you have a mirror or a huge mirror in front you can place your mirror right in front of you and do that as your viewfinder which is convenient or which is actually better or okay lots of youtubers or lots of content creatives do that and if that is convenient for you you can also do that or try that as well if you find this video useful do let me know in the comment section down below and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel do well to hit the red subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up and i'll definitely see you in my next video leave a comment if you have other suggestions on how to how to use your laptop as a viewfinder if you know in the comment section down below how you managed to figure that out if you use an iphone or if you use an android or reverse case or windows pc reverse is the case and let me know how you managed to get your viewfinder working for you and let me know in the comment section down below as well 